back. Nice to have you again. It's great to be here. So author of 52 small changes, and then by the end of the year, it's really cool. You're like a whole new person. A whole new person. And then get real and stop dieting, which I love using those recipes because they're super easy, but very also easy, healthy. very simple. All right, so that's the thing. We want to be healthy. We want to help our kids have a healthy Halloween, but it's got to be easy because it's enough to just get them dressed in their costumes and all that. Right. It's a busy day, and some parents want a healthier, healthier options. Yeah. And so we have actual party stuff as well as trick or treating stuff. Okay. But basically, you want to keep a few things in mind. One is you want to look for products that are pretty much all natural, higher quality, low in sugar compared to some of their counterparts. I know it's hard on Halloween. And if you can find those that um, are low fat, and um, especially trans fat and saturated fat. Why are you, you starting with the water and nuts? I'm sure there's a reason. Yes, because water is a good substitute for, I'm gonna have you try this. Um, oh, this is, is as hint water. Hint so. water, so it has no sugar and it's a nice flavored water, so kids like it, but it's not going to be ultra sweet and you're not no. gonna get that sugar rush. Right, uh, no, and I love it. I mean, this one I love. Some of those hint, like I didn't love the cucumber, but if you get the flavor that you like. Now my The fruity kids, ones are really good for kids. Uh, is carbonated water okay? I, I personally have no problem with carbonated water. All right, because my kids love yeah. what they call bubble water, and I'm like, hey, it's better than better sugar than stuff. Sugar stuff. Okay. All right. So the nuts is they're great because they have monounsaturated fats, and you can try these too. But yeah. these are pumpkin flavored, so they're a little fun for. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone can try these. Um, they're fun and they're tasty. So they're getting the monounsaturated fats, which will fill them up. Planters, pumpkin nuts, these but, are awesome. But pretty good, right. And then yeah. these, what I like about these, these are gluten free. So if you have kids coming that have gluten allergies or gluten sensitivities, these are chips made with garbanzo. Garbanzo flour. Really? And they go really well. My kids actually really like hummus. With hummus because so you can dip they're it in garbanzo. the hummus. They're hummus they're chips that are made. They're hummus chips that you dip in hummus. Right. Mmm. Now, when we get to mm. the sweeter side, I advocate for fruit stuff because, mm -hmm. like, why not? And these are just dehydrated pineapples and mangoes. Stick those in there in a little ramekin bowl. And yeah, they, you know, and they're really crunchy. tasty. I mean, different flavors are better than others. I personally like the crispy green has mango and um, pineapple, and they taste really natural. So I always thought, stay away from fruit roll-ups and things like that. But this is a good brand. It's all natural, only fruit. So okay. you're not getting a lot of the stuff that you would get in maybe some of the mainstream brands. If you see that there's sugar in it, I mean, obviously, like I, blueberry juice, I think is a great juice, but it, it does, it, is Generally. it okay as long as it's natural sugar? If it's 100% juice, that's what you're looking for. So then even though it's got sugars in there, it's different than the ones that they don't are sugar. added because if they're added, they're not natural to okay. the fruit. Because I think a lot of parents think, I can never give my kids juice, and that's not the case. If you're giving them good orange juice or something right. that's all juice, that's it's okay. It's better to do the whole fruit, but Okay. If you're going to do juice, make sure it's 100%. Okay. These are uh, gluten-free cookies, and this is actually Lucy's. They, they make brownie cakes as well. But these are really good, and they're well, these are made with quinoa. Oh. So they have protein and fiber. Cookies um, with protein. I love it. <laughs> this is like a mixture of different types of flour. So they're both really great options, again, for those who are gluten-free. All right. I just want to move down here for a second yeah. uh, over to this other thing. What is this? These are actual Snyder's. Snyder's uh, yeah. That makes Halloween treats? So what's really great is a lot of companies that are healthier are hopping on the bandwagon. They know that parents are looking for healthier things. Snyder's is a generally good, healthy snack for kids right. for their for oh, trick no. or treating. Right. So healthy they have gummy that. bears. Is that and such this a thing? is all natural. I love it. They're all made with fruit juice, and it's called Yum Earth Organic. So a great option for gummy bears. Right, I, I have chocolate. to have chocolate. And you can they, open they make them. It. I you can, can open. Oh, good. This right. is endangered species chocolate, my favorite. But what you want to do with chocolate with your kids is look for those that are more dark chocolate because right. you're going to get more okay oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right so this actually this all is dark, also chocolate. dark chocolate treats and why does it say endangered species does it help endangered species they do they some of their oh, products cool. go back to yeah where'd I you buy get these the so a lot of these products if you can find them in your traditional store you can get them at whole foods or you can also find them at um share with me sure Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, and I'm sure that some of your more natural mm. um, grocery stores mm. will have them. Kind bars are The dark chocolate with really the pumpkin nut will be really yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet and yummy, and yes. And the Kind bars, I know you actually, I think, introduced me to these, and now I even have one. And See, now they have these little minis, which are so great for trick-or-treaters. Oh, the minis. Okay, so yeah. you can give those out. You know, even if you want to give out the traditional candies because you feel like, hey, it's just Halloween, just starting them off with some of the healthier stuff will make them eat less. It'll make a big difference. Fill them up with healthier things and they'll be less inclined to sugar and, you know, intensify. 52 Small Changes, that's the name of the book. We can get it on Amazon, right? That's right. A change a week. It's not too overwhelming. 
Thank you, Brett. Thank you. Um, Enjoy. Happy Halloween.